guys, it's Kelly and today I've got a two-in-one video for you. We're gonna be doing some swatches and we're gonna be doing a few nail art tutorials. So pretty excited to be partnering up with Cirque Colors for this video. They just released three new sets of nail polishes that can be used specifically for no tools nail art. So I'm gonna show you all of the swatches and then I'm going to show you how to do all of the nail art tutorials. I'm gonna go over all the info and you know, we're just gonna have a good time. So let's just get started. So like I said, Cirque just released three new sets of nail polishes that are meant to be used specifically for jelly nail art that requires no tools and they're all inspired by beautiful crystals and patterns. First I'm going to show you the rose quartz set so let me show you the swatches and then I'm going to move directly into the tutorial for how to do rose quartz nails. So roll footage. So first up in this duo we have the shade chiffon which is a really beautiful soft milky pink jelly shade and honestly I think it looks great in one coat. I think this would be great for a French manicure or a negative space design but I am showing you guys two coats just so you can see what that looks like as a full manicure on your nails and I think this is also a very beautiful and delicate shade. It's a great palette cleanser and of course it would just be great for any time of year. The other polish in this set is called Rose Jelly and it is a really beautiful dusty rose jelly shade as you would expect from the name and again it actually looks pretty good on the first coat and it actually just looks like a really soft wash of color but of course I am showing you guys two coats so you can see what that looks like as a full manicure and this is just another really stunning shade definitely great for springtime but also again just a color that you can wear year-round so to achieve my rose quartz nails I'm first going to start off with my clean natural nail and apply my base coat and once that's dry I'm going to go in with two thin coats of the rose jelly shade. So once that is dry what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly start swiping the shade chiffon across my nails in sort of a randomized pattern and I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to do another coat of chiffon over that in again a randomized pattern not exactly where it was before but I'm just going to go back and forth and each nail looks totally different and it's super fun to kind of experiment and see how it looks. Then I'm just going to add my top coat so the whole design kind of melds together and that is literally it. This is the easiest way to do a simple stone crystal type of manicure and I love the way this turned out. It's really subtle but it was also super gorgeous. I think not only would this be great to wear on its own but you could also layer this as a background over any other type of nail art. So just really fun versatile look. All right, so like I said, it requires no tools. Each nail looks different, so it's super fun and cool. This set retails for $25 USD, and then you can also use these polishes, obviously, for regular nail painting. If, like me, you enjoy a jelly nail polish every once in a while. So let's move on to the green jade nail polish set, again, featuring two nail polishes, which I'm gonna swatch right now, and then we will move directly into the nail art tutorial. So roll footage again. So first up in this set, we have the shade Linen, which is a really beautiful, soft white jelly and this one is really interesting. I don't think I own any white jellies but I'm so glad that I do because I love the way this looks on the nail. I feel like a lot of people complain to me about wanting to wear white manicures but it always feels like you have like white out on your nails and I think this is a great solution to it. It's very soft, it's very beautiful, and it's still white. Next up we have the shade Jade Jelly which honestly I cannot describe it in any other way as saying it is a jade jelly. That's exactly what this polish is and it reminds me exactly of Jade. On the first coat, it's a little bit sheer as you would expect, and on the second coat, I do get full coverage. Even though it is a jelly, I don't get any visible nail line, which I think is absolutely amazing. And this is such a stunning color. You know I love green nail polishes, but this one is just especially beautiful. So to get the jade nail art look, again, I'm just going to start off with my clean natural nail and apply my base coat. And then once that's dry, I'm going to go in with two coats of the jade jelly nail polish. So this look is actually extremely similar to the rose quartz look. Once I am done with applying that jade jelly base color, I'm going to go in and I'm going to start swiping on the shade linen onto my nails in back and forth motions. Again, I'm just going to let that dry and then I'm going to go in again with that and I'm just going to keep swiping back and forth in randomized motions so some of it's going to be like a little bit layered and some of it is going to look a little bit less layered so it's kind of three-dimensional I don't know how to explain it but I think the end result is really cool once that's done you can just go ahead and apply your top coat as normally and once again we just have a really beautiful look and doing those layers of nail art really helps create this sort of three-dimensional like clouded look to the nail art it's just really fun and easy to do and honestly you don't need any amount of technical skill for this look 
So again, this polish set retails for 25 USD and it does feature the two nail polishes which you can use for the No Tools nail art or you can also just wear them on your own. And last but not least, we have the Tortoise Shell nail set which actually features three different nail polishes and then I'm going to show you after the swatches once again the Tortoise Shell nail art tutorial. This one is a little bit more complicated than the other two but it really doesn't require much effort at all and again it is a No Tools nail art tutorial so it's pretty easy to pick up once you get the hang of it. So roll footage once more. So first up in this trio we have the shade Camel which is a really beautiful warm mustard jelly color. On the first coat it's actually pretty opaque which is very impressive for a jelly polish but I did end up throwing on two coats just to show you what that looks like and I think Cirque in general does an amazing job with these sort of mustard shades but I really love this one because it has that sort of golden undertone and it just I don't know it just it's so bright and fun. Next up we have the shade Rust which is a really beautiful rusty reddish orange jelly and this one is definitely my favorite of the tortoise shell set but I think this is also my favorite of the entire new collection of jellies because this is such a beautiful mix between like red and orange and I love that jelly formula on it. It really creates such a high shine and it's just I mean look at this. This is beautiful. What can I even say about it? And lastly in this trio we have the shade Walnut which is a really beautiful very very warm brown jelly shade. So on the first coat it is a little bit light but you can get full jelly opacity in two coats and it's just another really beautiful shade that you can definitely wear on its own. It's got those really warm undertones so it really can suit any skin tone. So to create the tortoise shell nail art look, first I'm going to start off with my clean natural nail and apply my base coat. And once that's dry, instead of applying a color, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly swipe on some patches of the shade Rust in sort of a randomized pattern on my nail. This does not have to look perfect. In fact, it looks even better when it's a little bit blotchy and imperfect. And then once that's dry, I'm going to go in with a thin coat of the shade Camel. What we're doing here is we're just kind of layering and as we layer, the jelly looks kind of like faded away and it creates this sort of 3D image here. So again, I'm just going to take that shade Rust and I'm going to start overlapping with the patches that I already have, but also create some new areas to create that dimensionality. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Walnut and I'm going to really lightly sort of swipe that onto the nail. Mostly what I'm doing here is I'm kind of like surrounding the patches of Rust just to kind of, again, give that sort of that 3D look and just, I don't know, make it a little bit more visually interesting. Once again, I'm going to take that shade camel and I'm going to apply a very thin coat over the whole nail and over all of the patches that I've already done. And then once that's dry, once more, I'm going to go in with the shade walnut and I'm going to partially overlap the patches of walnut that I already did while also creating some new little areas. And again, just creating that dimensionality and you can see how 3D it looks with the parts that were partially covered up by camel versus the parts that are a little bit bit closer and a little bit more in your face because they're on the top layer of the nail and that's really the beauty of jelly nail polish. And once that's dry I'm going to go in with a nice thick coat of my glossy top coat just to complete the design and smooth everything out into one even layer. And that is how I created the tortoise shell look. Again this is the most complex of the three but it is still a super easy super simple no tools nail art look that can be achieved with little to no technical skills in nail art. So yeah that's the final look. This one retails for $36 USD. I will link all of the kits down below in the description. I'll also put a list of their stockists for those of you who are international and interested in buying these. But overall, I'm really excited. I've been very much into the jellies lately. If you guys want to know a little bit more about jellies, I have a whole video on that in my Nail Polish 101 playlist. But basically, we're talking about beautiful translucent nail polishes. And like I said, I've been really getting into them. You guys have been requesting some nail art tutorials using them. And I've got more planned and I've got more coming. So I'm really excited for that but you might want to stock up on some jelly nail polishes and these are really good sets. I love Cirque Colors. I think they do amazing polishes. I'm really happy to see some jellies from them. So let me know like I said in the comments which one is your favorite of the three. If you have picked up any of them yet or if you're planning on picking them up give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy me because <laughs> this is a little combo video so you know just give me some validation please just give me a thumbs up thank you and if you're not very subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing my hair isn't always this color i'm still very self-conscious about it still a little nervous about you know going out and about and being on youtube with this crazy hair i it's weird for me to even think that my hair is crazy because it's always crazy but i don't know why i'm specifically self-conscious of this color but anyway moving on 
that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you later. Bye! Alright, so you guys want to know a fun fact? I'm actually taking a writing class. So this is something that's kind of always been like on my mind, something I've always wanted to do. I think I mentioned it on my channel a few times that I've always wanted to be a writer. Those of you who know me in real life probably know that I've always wanted to be a writer or at least, you know, have some writing published. I think that would be so cool. I've had this series in my head for years that I've been writing and I kind of hit a point where I was like, I actually don't really know. I, I mean, I know how to write, but I don't know how to write a book. So I decided to take the leap and take a writing course and it's been awesome so far. I'm really excited and I have a new goal now to complete a draft of this book by the end of 2020. So I think that's just a really fun and easy goal. I, I know it sounds like it's like really far away, but also working and doing YouTube, it's not easy to kind of dedicate that much time to it, but it is something that is like a little side passion of mine. So would be really cool to get done. So I'm really excited about this writing class and I'm excited to see where it takes me. So yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!